it truly is a modern marvel when it comes to engineering and I mean things that have been done here have not been done anywhere else in the world. Tower One is without a doubt the safest building you know ever built in history. I mean no stone was left unturned in the design and the construction of that building. There are 300,000 workers in this neighborhood, a load of students. We've got two high schools right there. And these people are going to be under siege. We represent the people here, the residents, the tenants, the, the visitors, the employees. My fear is it's, it's going to be segregated and separated from the rest of New York. Security measures that they're taking are good down here. I mean, it was a devastating attack that we had in 2001. Before that, we had another attack. And if that's what we have to do to pr protect New Yorkers, that's what we have to do. It's a 16-acre site. There's really 12 separate projects going on concurrently. Um, you know, we've got the five office towers. We've got the, you know, the massive, brand-new transportation hub that we're building. There's 500,000 square feet of retail space you know, below the grade here. It's truly a city within a city. When the security plan is put in place, not only will be restricted behind barriers on our own streets, but my entire street is being absorbed into the World Trade Center campus. Liberty Street is not exactly a free place to come and go anymore. The far end of this block of Liberty Street will be a barrier in the default of position. There'll be another one right here in the default of position. There'll be another one over there by the entrance to the vehicle garage for underground at the Trade Center. Car bombs, I would say, would be the most devastating kind of attack that could happen down here. And with the freedom of vehicles going back and forth in the city, cars coming into this area definitely need to be checked for car bombs. We work with the police department, the federal government. Everybody's working together to ensure that this site and really the city of New York is as safe as it can be. We don't police the Empire State Building. We don't police uh, the bull down on Wall Street. So what we want to do is we want the police to stop over-policing and give this place the kind of sanctity that it deserves.